Welcome to number two Rue de Valenciennes, an office building in the centre of Paris. It has heating, electricity and fitted carpet, and it's unoccupied. Or at least it was until activists took over the building and brought 60 homeless people to live here. It's part of a direct action campaign to make the government and the public pay attention to the housing crisis. There's such a shortage of accommodation in Paris and rents are so high that for some families, having a decent place to live has become a luxury. But the point that the people here are making is that having a roof over your head shouldn't be a luxury, it's a basic human right. Meet Fariza. She and her family have been on a waiting list for public housing for nine years. Moving into the squat in Rue de Valenciennes was an act of desperation. We are working, we earn a salary, we have our papers, the children go to school. We have jobs, we could afford to pay rent. So why don't they house us? The squat is a test of President François Hollande's election promise to tackle the housing crisis. The government now says it will requisition any building that has been standing vacant for two years and turn it into public housing. Under pressure from campaigners, the housing minister visited the squat earlier this year. This building has been empty for several years and I've already said it's not normal to leave buildings empty in Paris or elsewhere because there are families who urgently need housing. That was four months ago. Now activists want to see those words turned into action. We want the government to allocate money for social housing. We want an end to evictions. We want the state to use empty buildings to provide shelter for homeless people. And we want rents to be controlled so that housing is affordable. The city of Paris now has plans to use a compulsory purchase order to buy this building, so these families may be safe from eviction. But hundreds of others don't know whether they'll have a roof over their heads from one week to the next. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.